What's going on guys? Stevie from the Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to put new seat belts in your truck. So about two weeks ago the seat belt on my driver's side stopped working. Basically when you plug this portion in it doesn't click and stay which is a real nuisance because you have to play around with it to get it to work and most days it's you know it's a 50-50 chance of it working which means well you end up riding around without a seat belt which if you don't know is illegal and you can get a fine. Now, for most of you, you could probably get away with that for a very long time. Well, here in Pennsylvania, we have vehicle inspection every year. It is mostly a safety inspection. This is essential safety equipment. So I had to replace the seatbelt. So I ordered these new seatbelts from LMC truck. The pictures show the old seatbelt uh, buckles, which are a big favorite for people who want to try to maintain the aesthetic look of the truck and you know its originality but this is actually what came in the mail. So I'm sorry, but this is what's gonna have to go in the truck for those who are purists. But yeah, so let's get started. So the procedure to replace seat belts is rather straightforward. First thing you're gonna have to do is pull your bench forward, which if some of you don't know by now, this lever here can be pulled over and your whole seat can actually come forward. So the truck actually has a seat adjustment uh, like a lot of people don't realize they think that the bench is fixed the other thing is once you slide it forward this lever here lifts up and you can actually tilt the seat forward and that will give you access to the seat belt area which if you look at it there's only a few bolts that hold in so there's one bolt here that holds the end in there's a bolt up here that holds uh, this little like d-ring piece in here and then of course the retractor piece is actually in here behind this panel. So the big thing about moving this forward is so that we can remove this panel so we can have access to all our different bolts. So I'm gonna pull that panel off and uh, bring you guys back. So here we are, I've got the panel out of the truck. And like I said, I moved the seat forward. As you can see, it's like awfully close to the wheel. And of course, you can pull this latch here and you can lean this whole thing forward. Now there's a little like retaining wire, so it's always gonna wanna go back to its position. So I only move it when I need to. As far as uh, special tools, you're gonna need a T50 to undo this nut here. That's what actually holds the top part of the seatbelt in place. There's also a nut down below here. You're gonna need a 5 8 for that. For if you haven't done the cap corner, so I've replaced all this, that may be a tricky one to get out because it might be really, really rusty. So that's uh, kind of up to you there. So the last little thing we need to do is unbolt the seatbelt retractor. And as you can see, there is just one T50 holding it in place. So it's just a matter of pulling that one out and the retractor comes out. If you haven't noticed too, you didn't see the seatbelt is also stained and worn and uh, falling apart. Um, these uh, the fibers actually kind of start cutting into your neck because they're so raw so you can see it's it's about time they get replaced so here we have the old seatbelt retractor mechanism and the new one don't freak out because of this bracket uh, coming with it the universal bracket that comes with it is actually a little more specific than you think it just requires a little pre-assembly here so it's 5 8 nuts so you just get a 5 8 backup wrench tighten up this guy and it will sit identically to how this guy is here. And then it's just a matter of taking this guy right here and bolting it up to uh, the 5 8 right here. So I'm gonna do that and bring you guys back. So here we are, we have our new seat belt retractor in place. Like I said, just the one bolt, the 5 8 goes in there nice and easy. These two bars here help locate it right here on top of that cross member. The next step is to put our panel in. I didn't mention this in the beginning, but the panel's held on by a series of screws. They're all pretty easy to find. I'll still point them out for you. So you have this guy here. You'll have a screw right here, one here, one back here, and then you'll have the two up here that are held in by these two pieces of trim. Now, there is one right behind the speaker. I'll show you that right here. Right here. That can be a tricky one to find, so be sure to look for it. Once the panel is in place and you've fished the seat belt, through the speaker hole, because if you don't, this will get stuck behind there. Then it's time to mount the upper part of your seatbelt, which is this guy. This plastic piece snaps off of this steel grommet here, and that's how you send the bolt through, and you'll simply bolt it 
in place and then snap the cover back. Once that's all together, then we can go down here and we can bolt the other end of the seat belt in. And that's it. You have new seat belts there. And then we'll move on to the lap belts. So as you can see, we have our new seat belt all in there. And it works amazingly. The retractor on this thing is nice. The belt looks so new. So the next step is we have to change out the lap belts. So right here is another one of those T50 bolts. You're going to remove that bolt, okay? And once it's removed, pull the seat belt buckles up through the hole. Don't pull them down through the hole because you can pull out this plastic grommet here. Especially me, I had this bench reupholstered and I'd like to keep it looking nice. But you'll pull that out and uh, we'll put the new ones in. All right guys, you can see our old belt buckles are removed. They're out there. Now the driver's side obviously comes with this thing that's supposed to let you know whether or not your seat belt is on or off. That's one thing that won't be able to go back into the new seat belts. If you consider that a loss, then that's what happens. To me, I don't think that really ever did uh, help me at all, so I'm not too worried to see it go. So you're gonna take your new seat belts, take out the bolts, okay? And just kind of look at the orientation of the buckles, right? And then you're just gonna take these and you're gonna slide them back down through that hole, okay? See, it looks nice. So they go straight through and they come out the bottom here and then it's just a matter of bolting them into place. So I'm gonna do that and I'll bring you back. Here we are guys, new seat belts in the truck. Man, do they look good. That black just goes so well with my bench. I love it. But the most important thing is they work. Look at that, retracts all the way back. You don't have to sit there in your truck and awkwardly feed it back in because it doesn't retract anymore, which is always great. I also took the liberty of installing the center lap belt and the buckle for the other side. The procedure is identical to doing these two buckles. It's just another T50 bolt that holds it to the floor. Remove that, pull the old seat belts out, push your new seat belts back in and replace it with the new 5 8 bolts. This kit is great because it does replace those T50s, except for, of course, the one that holds this up here. So it uh, eliminates a lot of the special you know, nuts and sockets that you'll need, which is always a plus. So guys, as you can see, very simple. If your seat belt's not retracting, or like me, the buckle no longer holds the tab in there, or maybe you got a shell from somebody and it didn't come with seat belts, this is the video for you that will show you how to put new seat belts in your truck. That's all for me. Hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos, a lot of cool stuff and more to come. I'm Stevie from the Minimasters. Thanks for watching.